Hi there. My name is Charles Warren. I'm the president of Arkansas PTA. I'm here with my wife, Missy Warren. She's the first lady of Arkansas <laughs> PTA. We're here today to demonstrate and give you an actual uh, presentation on how to assemble the reflections entries for this year's reflections. All the uh, reflection entry um, instructions can be found in the handbook that's available on the website. I'm going to be reading the instructions and she's going to actually be putting together the, uh, uh, the entry itself that's from the student. That's what the purpose of this video is for. So let's begin first with either of the visual arts or the photography. We're going to do this as one demonstration because they're very similar in the way that they are packaged. The only difference is that the visual arts from a student should be no bigger than 24 inches by 30 inches. However, the photographs should be no bigger than 11 inches by 14 inches. So once you have the student's entry, you need to make sure that you've got it ready. Mm -hmm. Now the first thing you need to do is mount it to the back of cardboard, and that cardboard needs to be no thicker than 3 eighths of an inch. And you do, how do you mount that? With tape, double stick tape, or whatever else you want to do that with. Now, this next step is optional. Uh, you have the opportunity to use matting. Uh, one of the things you need to do is make sure that you get the student's permission to use uh, matting so that it doesn't interfere with their interpretation of their artwork or their photograph. In this example, we're going to actually use the, the matting, and we've added it to the artwork itself. And she's going to be working on that while I continue on with the next step. After you've got the artwork or photograph and you've done the matting, the next thing you need to look at is the opportunity to add shrink wrap. Again, this step is again optional. We um, at Arkansas PTA um, want to just tell you that shrink wrap is only necessary to protect the actual entry. It's going to go through a lot of hands from the time it leaves the student till the time it gets back to the student. And because of that, the shrink wrap will protect it in many different, uh, at many different times and throughout its travels to, uh, throughout the state. So you might want to consider the time and cost of adding shrink wrap to each one of the entries. But again, that is optional. Now, once you've added, uh, excuse me, once you have the matted and mounted. artwork mounted, the next thing you need to do is get a clear protective sleeve. That can be found hopefully very easily and it should have an opening at the top. That's very important that your clear protective sleeve have an opening at the top. You need to actually take this and tape it to the back of your artwork. Now it's very important that the opening is left at the top because this is where you're going to actually place the student's app, uh, entry form. And so make sure that this is taped properly to the back, secure, because again it's going to go through many different types of travel to the Arkansas State judging. So make sure it's all set. Now you don't want to put any other types of labels or anything else on that protective sleeve. We need to be able to see everything clearly through that protective sleeve. Now once you have the student's application ready and fully completed, then you take and make sure that you have the front page showing out that lists the student's name. You slide it through the top and make sure that it's all the way through. Once it's all the way through, fully secure, you now have a completed entry form ready to go to Arkansas PTA, and hopefully it's going to be a winner, and it might even go all the way to National PTA. Thank you. Okay, our next assembly will be for literature. The first thing we need to do is make sure that your literary work is on 8.5 by 11 paper. Now, the student's name or the school should not be anywhere on the text except on one location, and that's at the back of the very last page. 
Now, if the literature has more than one piece of paper, it's important to staple it in the upper left-hand corner of the papers. Now, it's also important that if you want a copy, a photocopy of this literature, you need to make it yourself at this point because the literature will not be returned from Arkansas PTA. So make sure to make a copy before you submit it to Arkansas PTA for the Reflections program. Now. Once you have your literature work ready to go, you, find, you, you place it inside a manila file folder. Now, if your manila file folder actually has a tab, and that's okay to use one that has a tab, make sure that you put the tab in the back and you place it face up. Now you need to get that same uh, clear plastic sleeve that we used previously. It should be very available. And you are going to staple it to the front of the manila file folder. Again, you want the opening to be at the top. It's also important that you not cover the clear plastic sleeve with any kind of writing or labels or anything else like that. It needs to be very clear so that we can see the entire uh, page of the application form. It helps, okay. helps if you know how to use a stapler. Okay. Well, it may take a couple of practices, but once you get it, you'll figure out how to do it pretty easily. Once you have the student's application completed out, completed fully, you slide it in through the top, making sure that it's secure. Now, you don't want to, hang on, you don't want to make sure you don't want to staple the actual application form. That's important because at Arkansas PTA, we're going to be pulling that in and out, uh, turning it over for the actual judging competition. So it's very important that you don't staple the actual page to the, uh, to the sleeve. And now that you see that we've not done that <laughs> and we haven't written anything else, we have a completed entry form for literature. The front. Nothing on the back. Thank you. You don't have to staple it. We looked at the instructions again. If you feel like you can tape it better and easier than using a stapler, then feel free to tape it to the uh, manila folder instead of stapling. It's your option. Whatever you feel more comfortable with and what makes it easier, just feel free to do that. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna be working on the music competition or the music composition. Competition. Yes, competition, <laughs> thank you. Now for the music composition, it should be recorded on a CD. And it's important to place the CD in a CD protective sleeve or a case, it's your option. Make sure that you make an extra copy for the student or yourself because the CD will not be returned to the student. Now for middle school and high school level entries, it's very important that you also provide a written score. This is for the judges so that they can actually read the score. The written score is not required for the lower level of uh, schools, but it is required for the middle school and high school entries. Now, once you have the CD and the written score, you need to place it in a 9 by 12 manila clasp envelope. Once you've set both the CD and the score, if it's required, in the envelope, you can close the clasp. After you've closed the clasp, again, find your clear protective sleeve that we've been using previously, and you're going to be attaching it to the front of the manila envelope. Again, making sure that the top is the open portion so that you can slide the student's entry into the top. So Missy is taping down the clear protective sleeve. And this one should be a little bit easier because you should have enough room on the sides because it is 9 by 12. And so you have a little bit of room to, to work. Again, remember, do not put any labels or any other kind of writing on the clear protective sleeve. Once you have the completed form from the student, slide the form all the way down into the protective sleeve, making sure that it's clearly visible throughout, and you're done and ready to turn into Arkansas PTA.
Okay, for our next set of instructions, we're going to actually be looking at both the film production entries and the dance choreography entries. They're very similar in the way they're put together, and so we're going to be looking at them both with the same set of instructions. The film should be recorded on a DVD, and the DVD should be placed in a DVD sleeve or a case. Now, in terms of the dance choreography, you need to video the actual choreography on a DVD. And again, place the DVD in the case or protective sleeve. Now you want to take the protective sleeve and place it in a 9 by 12 inch manila clasp envelope. After you've placed it in there, you need to close the envelope. After you've closed the envelope, you need to get your clear protective sleeve that we've been using, and you need to tape it down to the front of the envelope, the opposite end of where the clasp is. You're going to be taping it down, again making sure that the opening of the protective sleeve is at the top so that the entry form can, be, uh, can go in through the top. Once you have the student's form all completed on both sides, you need to slide the entry form with the uh, top page showing at the top so that we can see the student's name. Slide it all the way down so that it is uh, clearly visible. Again, you're not putting any labels or any kind of writing on the clear protective sleeves or anywhere else on the envelope. Once you've got that together, you're all set and you're ready to turn in either your film production DVD or your dance choreography DVD.